In Scrum, a burndown chart is a data-based visual representation of progress towards a goal. Burndown charts are used in many different ways, including release planning and tracking progress towards a known goal. This video explains how a burndown can be used to show progress towards a sprint goal. Since the Scrum Master is in charge of making the work of the team visible, they usually maintain the burndown chart. The burndown is a simple chart. The work remaining to accomplish the sprint goal is shown on the y-axis. This can be shown by the total number of points the team has committed to for that sprint. Time remaining in the sprint is shown on the x-axis. It's represented by the number of days remaining in the sprint. On a sprint level, the burndown chart is a graphic representation showing the rate at which work is completed and how much work remains to be done in order to meet the sprint goal. They are especially helpful when your sprint backlog includes many different sized backlog items by providing real-time updates on the team's progress. A burndown chart visually helps the team track their progress. Since it shows the progress on a daily basis, it also helps the Scrum Master predict if the team will be able to complete the work they've committed to finishing that sprint. It can also track progress towards achieving the sprint goal, which is an objective set for the sprint that can be met through the completion of sprint backlog items. The team will, in essence, burn down some effort each day so that on the last day of the sprint, no work effort remains. Once the sprint begins and backlog items are completed, the Scrum Master marks that progress on the burndown. They update this chart at least daily throughout the sprint. They connect the data points on the burndown chart with a sloping line that ties in both points and time. What makes the chart a more effective reporting tool is that it is based on known data and Scrum team progress on a specific release, and not one based on guessing how much effort has been completed or still needs to be done. Instead, it's based on known progress, and not in terms of time spent, but in terms of how much work remains. If the burn down line is not tracking downwards by mid sprint, the team needs to quickly implement the emergency procedure pattern. This is an ideal time for the Scrum Master to help the team to act early rather than the team drift towards sprint failure. Burndown charts give us a quick visual of the sprint progress so that all interested parties can see how much work is left remaining for the team to meet the sprint deliverables of that given sprint. This Scrum session has been brought to you by Scrum Inc. We hope this has been helpful. If you found value here, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. We look forward to partnering with you on your Scrum journey.